Hi everyone. In this video, we are dealing with two important tests in the chapter aldehydes, ketones, and carboxylic acid. The first one is known as 2,4-DNP test. 2,4-DNP test. Dear all, first we can discuss about what's the main purpose of 2,4-DNP test. 2,4-DNP test we are mainly using to distinguish or this test is given by this test is given by given by all aldehydes and ketones all aldehydes and ketones okay 2 4 dnp test is given by almost all aldehydes and ketones then what is the purpose of this reaction suppose i'm asking you how can you distinguish between ethanol from propanoic acid what is that ethanol what is mean by ethanol ethanol means ch3 cho right ethanol it's an aldehyde propanoic acid means ch3 ch2 cooh this is called what propanoic acid as or no so how can you distinguish these two compounds through a chemical test we can use 2 for dnp test because this is an aldehyde this is an acid this test is given by only aldehyde so he can give this test he can't understood one another thing how can you distinguish between ch3 co ch3 what is this compound propanone right or we can say propan 2 on with ch3 ch oh ch3 what is this propan 2 all this is a ketone this is an alcohol so who can give this test dear all of you 2 4 dnp test can given by aldehydes and ketone so he can give this test he can't so this is the purpose of 2 4 dnp test now we can discuss detail about what is the 2 4 dnp test and what is the reagent etc if you want to carry out 2 4 dnp test we need a reagent the reagent is known as 2 4 dinitrophenylhydrazine phenyl hydrazine this is the reagent we are using in 2 4 dnp that's a uh, full form of actually dnp what is that dnp 2 4 dinitrophenylhydrazine is called for dnp dnp let me just draw the shape of this uh, compound Dear student, what is hydrazine? Hydrazine is chemically NH2 single bond NH2. This is called hydrazine. So phenyl hydrazine mean on hydrazine there is a phenyl group. For example, I can write like this. Uh, okay, this is the phenyl ring. Phenyl ring which contain a hydrazine group NH, NH. Okay, one of the bond connected here. So this is the hydrazine part with a phenyl group so the term is over phenyl hydrazine now second and fourth position dinitro two nitro groups are there dear student this is the most priority group here so number two number three number four five six so second position and fourth position we have two nitro group all right so this is called two four dinitro phenyl hydrazine structure is clear okay let us treat with our aldehyde or ketone so i told you this reaction is given by only aldehydes and ketones so let me take uh, the aldehyde i'm taking a general equation dear all general equation of aldehyde and ketone we can draw like this right because they contain carbonyl group co group right co group aldehyde and ketone contain co group all right so when it's a very simple reaction we can go for a short method when you treat this uh, aldehyde or ketone with our 2,4-DNP reagent, this oxygen and these two hydrogen eliminated as what? Water. Then you please clap the remaining compound here all. We will get C, all right, C, right, double bond and where it is connected now? C double bond and here it is this oxygen and H2 eliminated nitrogen is there. So nitrogen on nitrogen there is one NH bond and then remaining the phenyl ring with nitro group nitro group right this is the product. 
so dear all when the aldehyde when the aldehyde or ketone you treated with our 2 4 dnp reagent 2 4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine you will get the compound the product is known as what is your reactant 2 4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine and the product is known as 2 4 dinitrophenyl hydrazone hydrazone hydrazine converted to hydrazone that's a common name of the compound and what is the observation okay okay here aldehyde and ketone reacting with which one the uh, 2 4 dnp reagent how can we identify how can we observe the given compound is the 2 4 dinitrophenyl hydrazone dear student it's having a orange yellow color it's having a orange reddish orange yellow color will get it commonly we can call orange yellow in color orange yellow so if you're getting this product or the color you can confirm that your all the reactant is reactant side you have either aldehyde or ketone so a aldehyde and ketone if you want to distinguish from other compounds for example carboxylic acid alcohol ether rest or something you can use this technique which one 2,4 DNP test. So study what is 2,4 DNP test. What is the purpose? It's given by only aldehydes and ketone. And what is the reagent? All right. Now we can go for the second test. The second test is known as iodoform test. Iodoform test. Iodoform test. Sometimes it's known as haloform test. Iodoform test or haloform test. Dear all, you studied a very common compound that is called CHCl3. CHCl3. You know, CHCl3 is called what? Chloroform. Is or no? Chloroform. Right? CHCl3 is known as chloroform. So, what is the uh, formula of iodoform? Instead of chlorine, iodine. Right? So, CHI3. CHI3 is called what? Iodoform. Alright? Iodoform. What is the test? Listen carefully everyone. Before that let me give you a common idea. This test is given by. This test is given by. Aldehydes. Two sets are there. This test is given by. Aldehydes and ketones. Okay. This test is also given by. All aldehydes and ketone. But some speciality is there. All aldehydes and ketone mean that is wrong. Because this test is given by aldehydes and ketone which contain aldehydes and ketone which contain a particular group. Which group? Which contain CH3CO group. Okay. So if the aldehyde, if the aldehyde or ketone which is going to react or uh, which is giving iodoform test mean they must contain CH3CO group. Those aldehydes and ketones can give this test. Similarly, one more thing dear all, this test is given by alcohol also. This test is given by alcohol also and they should contain, if it is an alcohol, if it is an alcohol which must contain, which must contain the particular group CH3, CH, OH group. This group must be there in the compound. Okay, so let me conclude. The test is known as what? Iodoform test. It's also known as haloform. What is, why it is haloform? Because iodine is a halogen, right? Okay, so iodoform test is also known as haloform test. This test is given by three things. Aldehydes ketones and alcohol if it is a aldehyde or ketone they must contain ch3co group as a part of the chain and if it is an alcohol they must contain ch3 choh group for example let me ask you one of the question which of the following compounds can give this test okay can give this test which one iodoform test number one ch3 cho what is this ethanol then we have ch3 co ch3 propanon c okay another one ch3 co 
okay total five carbons are there second position ketone so we can call what this is called pentan two on or two pentanone this is what ethanol right ethanol this is what propan two on right propan two on one more compound here all ch3 ch2 c double bone o ch2 ch3 what is this compound pentan three on right third position pentan three on okay or three pentanone Come on everyone, which all compounds can give uh, this iodoform test? Let's see. Dear student, CH3CHO, what do you think? This compound can give iodoform test or this is an aldehyde. Is it contain that particular group? Yes, dear all. CH3CHO, I can write it as CH3CHO, right? CH3, the CHO group, you can write as COH. Is it contain that group? Yes. It having that group so it will give the test understood what about the second compound can it yes right it having ch3 co ch3 co right it having that particular group so we can write this reaction what about the pendant 2 on and pendant 3 on pendant 2 on and pendant 3 on how you can distinguish dear student can you tell me which one can give this test Yes, they are all pentan 2 on can give this test because that contains CH3CO group. What about pentan 3 on? That exact group, I told you that group must be there. CH3CO group must be there. Is it there? No, right? CH3, CH2, CO. This is CH2, CO. We need CH3CO group. So it cannot give this test. Hope you're clear. Okay, so iodoform test is given by aldehyde ketone and alcohol. They must contain that particular group. Now we can go for the reaction. Here, let me take the example what we consider just before CH3CHO. This aldehyde is known as what? Ethanol, right? Ethanol. One another reaction CH3COCH3. CH3COCH3. What is this? Propan 2 on or 2 propanon. Let me react. Okay. Here actually in iodoform test, you are making iodoform. You are creating iodoform as a product. If you want to get iodoform as a product, what is the reagent we need to add into the aldehyde and ketone or alcohol? We need to add NaOH, sodium hydroxide and iodine. They are all, they are all then heat it okay then heat it so take your aldehyde or ketone treat with the sodium hydroxide and iodine so maybe they will ask you the question in iodoform test what is the reagent we are using in the uh, along with the aldehyde or ketone or alcohol we are using sodium hydroxide and iodine sodium hydroxide and iodine. definitely iodine is required right because our product is iodoform they are all total we have four things and the product side the one of the product we can confirm that is CHI3 because I told you the we are making iodoform. CHI3 is called what? Iodoform. Dear all of you, iodoform having a yellow color. Okay, iodoform having a yellow color. So iodoform, what is the observation? Yellow in color. Yellow in color. What is the color change? Do you remember in the 2,4 DNP test? Orange yellow color. All right, orange yellow color. So in iodoform. We took the aldehyde which contained that particular group. Yes, treated with NaOH and iodine on heating. You will get yellow colored compound. Okay, fine. Then dear student, sodium can combine with iodine. You will get which one? Sodium iodide. All right, sodium iodide. So CHI3, yellow colored iodoform form. Sodium iodide form. Water is also one of the byproduct. Water is one of the byproduct. These three products are common in every reaction. All of you. So let me just to finish this uh, second question also. This is your propanone treated with the sodium hydroxide and iodine on heating. I told you this th in iodoform test, these three things are common in every reaction. Which one? CHI3 iodoform. I told you this is a yellow colored one. And which one? Sodium iodide along with the water. This is common. Only the last thing is a different. How to write the last thing? All of you, I'll give you a short idea. 
How many carbons are present in your reactant? Which means your aldehyde. 1 and 2. 2 carbon. Alright. How many carbon in your product side? Only 1 carbon. Correct. Your reactant side having 2 carbon. Your aldehyde contain 2 carbon. But your iodoform contain 1 carbon. Correct or not? Where is the remaining carbon? So 1 carbon missing. The remaining carbon you write it as the acid. You know, one carbon contain acid is which one? Methanoic acid. What is methanoic acid? HCOOH. Right? HCOOH. But that hydrogen will be replaced by sodium. You know, sodium is a highly reactive metal. It will give you HCOONA. Sodium salt of methanoic acid or sodium methanoate. Once again, I am repeating, your aldehyde contain two carbon atom, but your product contain only one carbon atom in iodoform. So, what is the remaining carbon? Remaining carbon, you write it as the acid. One carbon contain acid is which one? Methanoic acid. But don't write it as HCOOH. The hydrogen will be replaced by sodium. Then, what is the salt you are getting here? Can you tell me, dear all? How many carbon in your reactant side? One, two, three. There are three carbon. Three carbon, okay. 1, 2, 3, 3 carbon and your product contain only 1 carbon. So, how many carbon missing? 2 carbon. So, 2 carbon contain acid is which one? CH3COOH, ethanoic acid but write it as the sodium salt. Sodium salt of ethanoic acid. So, clear? Clear everyone how to uh, or what are the uh, two for DNP test and iodoform test? What is their purpose? Clear? So, 2,4 DNP test is given by all aldehydes and ketone. All aldehydes and ketone. Uh, they will give you a orange uh, uh, colored, orange yellow colored precipitate. What is the 2,4 DNP re reagent is called? 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine and the product is called, two, what is that orange colored compound? 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazone. What about iodoform test? Iodoform test is given by aldehydes and ketone. They contain CH3, CO group. If it is a alcohol, CH3, CHOH group. Yes or no? And iodoform, how you can make it? It is treating with NaOH and iodine. You will get iodoform, sodium iodide, water as a common product in every reaction. Only the last one is a different. Here the main thing is yellow colored iodoform. Clear everyone? So this is the another distinction test in aldehydes and ketones. The carboxylic acid chapter. Hope you clear everyone. Thank you all. Goodbye. Brilliant Katha, your trusted coaching partner for IIT, JE, NEET, Science and Commerce students with 10 years of excellence in quality training. Brilliant Qatar.